Which synthetic fertilizer is better? A 555 or a 202020? Yesterday I was watching a garden video and it asked a similar question. It compared a 111 to a 303030, but it's the same question. The answer that that video gave was completely wrong. They concluded that the one with the lower number was better. And that's simply not true. And that's the question I like to have a closer look at in this video. What I'm talking about in this video is synthetic balanced fertilizer, and they come in a variety of different formulations. You can get a 111, 555, 1010, 10, 10, 12, 12, 12, 20, 20, 20, 30, 30, 30. You get the idea. In each case, the numbers in that MPK formula is the same, and we call that balance because there's equal amounts of each of them. And the things I'm going to talk about today apply to all of those. As an example, I'm just going to pick the 555. So what does the 555 actually mean? Many gardening sites will tell you that that's 5% nitrogen, 5% phosphorus, and 5% potassium. They're all wrong. It doesn't mean that at all. What it actually means is that you have 5% nitrogen, 5% of something called phosphorus pentoxide, and 5% of something we commonly call potash. Now that's an important point if you're going to try and figure out how much of this fertilizer to actually use. And I have a separate video that explains that in a little more detail, and I'll put a link to that at the end of this one. All right, so now we know what that MPK formula means, but there's another term that we should understand, and that's the MPK ratio. If I have a fertilizer that's a 555, what is the MPK ratio? Well, the ratio is a 1 1 1. A ratio tells you the relative amount of each nutrient. And since we have equal amounts of all three of them, it's a 1 1 1. What if I have a fertilizer with an MPK of 20 20 20? What is the ratio? Well, it's also 1 1 1. The ratio of a 5 5 5 and a 20 20 20 is exactly the same. There's equal amounts of each of the nutrients. Let's ask a slightly different question now. Well, if we go back to our 555, we add those up, that gives us 15%. Well, what is the other 85%? Well, that kind of depends on which fertilizer you're buying. In some cases, the 85% contains both some macro and micronutrients other than the three top ones. So you might have some calcium, magnesium, iron, manganese in there. Now, if the fertilizer has those things, it almost always lists them on the package because those add value to the fertilizer and you'll pay extra for those micronutrients. If it doesn't list it on the package, assume it doesn't contain those things. If there's no micronutrients in there, what is the 85% then? Well, it's filler material. It's material that doesn't harm your soil, doesn't harm plants, but it doesn't do any good for those either. In fact, in the olden days, fertilizer used to be made with the three nutrients plus a whole bunch of little stones to make up the 85%. It doesn't really matter what's in there and the manufacturer doesn't tell you, but as a gardener, you can just ignore it because it doesn't do anything to your garden. You're interested in the MPK nutrients. All right, back to our original question. Is a 555 better or worse than a 202020? Which one should you be buying? Well, there's two aspects to this. The first one is, how does it affect the living organism? So how does it affect plants? Well, if you add the right amount of fertilizer, a 555 and a 202020, they do exactly the same thing. There's no difference, provided you add the right amount of fertilizer. What about other things in the soil, like microbes? Does one harm microbes more than other? You've probably heard this a lot of times, and it tends to come from the pro-organic group. They say synthetic fertilizer harms the microbes in our soil. That's a complete myth. In fact, when we add synthetic fertilizer to land, like a farm or a garden, the number of microbes actually goes up. You get this spike of growth. It doesn't last very long because the nitrogen in this fertilizer doesn't last very long, but you do get a spike. It's not killing the microbes, it's actually helping them grow. And why is that? Well, microbes need the same nutrients that plants need. And they're the same nutrients that you and I need, and every animal on earth needs. We all need nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, magnesium, manganese, all of these things. 
So this idea that synthetic fertilizer kills microbes, complete myth. So what's the difference? Uh, should you buy the 555 or the 202020? Well, the only real difference is the cost to your pocketbook. In almost all cases, the higher the number, the cheaper the fertilizer is on a pound per pound basis. Remember, we're buying the nutrients. You get more nutrients for a dollar if you buy the 202020. It's a better buy. So when you go shopping for synthetic fertilizer, you have to know what the ratio is that you want. Once you know that, find fertilizer with the right ratio and then buy the one with the highest number. There's really no point in buying the one with the smaller number. It just costs you more money. Now the thing to remember is that if I buy a 202020, I'm going to apply less fertilizer to the soil than I would if I use 555. Remember, a 202020 is four times as concentrated, so I will use one quarter as much. If I'm going to apply a cup of fertilizer to my raised bed for a 555, well, I'll only need a quarter cup of a 202020. And if I apply the right amount of fertilizer, both of them work just as well. Now, if you'd like to know what the 10, 10, 10 actually means, have a look at this video right here. It is important for gardeners to understand that. And this video here will tell you that you should almost never buy a balanced fertilizer. Most sources recommend balanced fertilizers like a 10, 10, 10, 20, 20, 20. That is almost always the wrong fertilizer to buy. And this video will tell you why. Happy garden.